Hi everybody, this is Nerdcon Unlimited and we're gonna talk about Marvel theme parks. of theme parks, resorts, and nightlife. Universal Studios Escape. Are you ready? <laughs> there are actually two main theme parks, one in Universal Studios Florida and the second one in Disneyland California Adventures. But guess what? There's another theme park. Most, most of it. <laughs> and then you flip and it's like, Poof. It was crazy. I felt like I was in a blender. I was scared to death, but it was really, really nice. It's the best ride I've ever been on. I was like, yes! Just <laughs> That was incredible! <laughs> this theme park called ING World of the Adventure is an indoor amusement park in Dubai. It's a first mega theme entertainment destination. The park is divided into five epic zones. Two of those, they're actually global brands, Cartoon Network and Marvel Entertainment. It's open back in August 2016. The attraction is completely covered because in Dubai, remember in the Middle East, the temperatures can reach 180 degrees. The theme parks has something kind of similar to Jurassic Park, like we mentioned before in the other episodes, a zombie land or things like that. But one of the main attractions is for the Marvel. Marvel is another theme song based on characters of Marvel comics. This song will feature two attractions. One is from Avengers and the other one for Hulk. One of the called Avengers Battle of the Ultron and the other one called Eblepsium Base of 3D Hulk. They're actually pretty good. Welcome trainees to SHIELD. As we speak, the entire city is under siege by Ultron. You will provide support to the Avengers while they save us all from total annihilation. The park was announced back in 2007, but as you can actually see, it's kind of really interesting. Even they have the Tony Stark Tower on the park. But there's other attractions like Spider-Man Dog of Revenge, an indoor roller coaster on which one the seats move at 360 degrees.
The other attraction is for a little bit kids. It's a roller go around attraction. It's kind of simple. The other one is Tor Thunder Spin, kind of similar of not very fun or other parks around the world with thunder effects. But the main one people like is Hulk, Ellipsium based 3D. So Circuit Motion is an amazing attraction. It's a uh, first of its kind. Uh, it incorporates a uh, four degrees of freedom motion base with a 360 degree dome 3D uh, media piece. Combining these two elements together, it creates something that's incredibly immersive and something that's never been done before. So the Circumotion hardware was really the brainchild of Cecil Knight Purry of Falcon's Treehouse to develop a product that would represent floating in a capsule or in a bubble of some kind, but also wrap that around with a 360 3D media experience that would really truly make you feel like you're inside of a space. Our goal with the attraction was to up the immersion level and make people feel even more a participant in these journeys, in these worlds. The Avengers 40 Dark Ride has a lot of amazing firsts. It's a brand new ride vehicle style uh, where it makes you feel like you're in a helicopter flying over New York City. We house them in a side-controlled vehicle, not only on the sides but at the top, and we were able to control the vehicle's path. Our guidance was the IP that we were able to acquire for IMG from Marvel was the original style characters. And so we were able to basically embrace the Avengers. Something we really wanted to get across is that you are one of the Avengers in this ride, that you can help them defeat the villain. At the end of the ride, you really feel a sense of accomplishment, like you did something of value that really helped the Avengers, like you became one of them. The Marvel Land was created and designed by Falcon Creator Group, just like the Jurassic Island. This attraction is one of the main ones. The Battle of Ultron and Elepsium based 3D of Hulk, one of the two major attractions in that park. Now, the park was originally announced back in 2007. In August 31st, 2009, the Walt Disney Company brought Marvel for $4.24 billion and now control the theme park rights to the company characters. Since now Universal Studios Park have Marvel-based attractions at Universal Island Adventure Park in Florida and Universal Studios Japan in Osaka, Universal owns the rights to have Marvel attractions from the east of Mississippi River in the United States and in Japan, but not elsewhere. That's interesting. Now, the designs before, it looks like this. Really creative, amazing, but remember, those designs was back in 2007. But since Disney get the rights, they has to make a new changes. And also they had an attraction like Spider-Man, but remember, no Spider-Mans. It's something we're gonna mention later on. In California Adventures, they have some attractions planning. But remember, Universal Studios has Spider-Man the ride. So Disney cannot have similar attractions like Universal Studios. The same thing anything else a roller coaster anything similar is this is how weird is the copyrights created so disneyland decided to create an attractions for spider-man kind of looks like um, shooting wet 
to help Spider-Man against the little robots getting out of control. It's kind of cute, but not that great like the one in Universal Studio, which one is one of the greatest attractions so far. The other attraction, supposed to be, it was like Harry Potter and Universal Studios Hollywood, on which meant people flying and helping the Avengers fight against a great foe and enemies attacking. But since Disney getting a little bit cheaper after spending so much money on 20th Century Fox and everything else, they decide no more. But this is Nerd Color Limit, and see you soon.